Hi, I'm Lindsay from Columbus Public Library, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Today I'm going to tell you about some of the benefits of practicing gratitude and how to make your own gratitude journal. There are lots of benefits to practicing gratitude, but I'm just going to share three of them with you today. First of all, gratitude strengthens resiliency. Now, resiliency is your ability to recover from difficult situations quickly, such as a pandemic. When you focus on what you're grateful for, you're focusing on the positive things in your life, and having that positivity around you is creating a sense of optimism for the future, and that kind of optimism is vital for resiliency. Second, gratitude helps you increase your self-esteem. So when you're considering what you're grateful for, it's okay to look at your own strengths and abilities and to appreciate those and be thankful for those. Um, this positive outlook on yourself can help boost your self-esteem. And third, practicing gratitude can make you happier. One study showed that participants were up to 5% happier after one month of using a gratitude journal. So speaking of which, let me show you how to make your own. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own gratitude journal. All you need is some paper of any kind. You can use a colored copy paper, cardstock, scrapbook paper, loose leaf notebook paper, whatever you have on hand. You'll also need some scissors and a ruler or a paper cutter and a stapler. First you want to measure out and cut your paper. Um, to fit into this stapler, like this when you bend it in half, I found that cutting my cover to be six and a half inches by just over three and three quarters inches worked well and then for my inserts here I did six and a quarter inches by just under three and three quarter inches and that seemed to work well to create a notebook like this I was able to staple it easily once you have your paper cut what you want to do is you're going to pick out what cover you want I'm going to use these sparkly shiny mermaid scales and just pick out a few sheets of paper you can do about three or four is usually good um, just for the sake of being able to staple it all together then all you need to do is just line it up you want it to be fairly even here and you can just fold it like this and crease your edges here. If you want to take out the paper so that you can crease your cover more, you can do that. And we can just kind of crease the paper as well. And then we're just going to put them together again. Then you're going to find your middle right here line up your paper again it doesn't have to be super perfect but you want it to be fairly even and then we're going to flatten it out and then you're going to line up your stapler with the crease that you made right here so that's about right you can do two staples you can do one staple I think I'm going to do two so I'm gonna do one more towards the side and then I'll move it over again to the other side and then we have our staples in our crease here so it came out pretty good and then you have a gratitude journal Now that you know how to make your own gratitude journal, I want to challenge you to write down at least one thing you're grateful for every day. I'm Lindsay from Columbus Public Library, and thanks for joining me. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win, cvlga.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.